Hi, it's Natasha. Welcome to an animal inspired primal mobility class. We're going to start with a warm up and then we'll have four drills that we'll repeat two times through. Work a minute, 15 seconds rest, and then another set of four drills. Come on down to a kneeling position. Keep the toes tucked under. Peel the pinky toe out and stretch through the arches of the feet. Then we're gonna send the fingertips backwards. Fingers and palms land. Try to press the heel of the palm down. Come into a cat back stretch. Exhale, round the spine, tuck tailbone under. Sit back and arch. Heel, sit back towards the heels. And we're gonna try to curl off the fingers, land on the heels. Make sense? Tuck the fingers, slowly roll down to the palm, heel of the hand, then the knees release. Exhale, cat back. <sighs> Inhale, cow. Heart forward, tailbone back. Sit back, push off the hands. Roll yourself back to the heels. If you can, we're stretching through the Achilles tendon and the ankle then keep those fingers, try to press down long in front of you. Slowly land the knees, exhale, cat, cow, sit back, peel off the hands and onto the heels. Last time here, press into fingertips. As you land the palm down, the knees come down, exhale, cat, cow, press your way back into this yogi squat, circle out the wrist, give up a nice big shake, ha. All right, have a seat. We're gonna bring your knees here to a little mini pigeon or like a 90-90 shape. And we're just gonna practice switching this for the hips to warm up. So swivel one foot forward and then the other foot wraps back. You can lean forward, maybe kiss your mat. Pick up that right foot, Left foot, switch the leg that's in front, forward fold. A few more rounds. Left foot swings forward, right foot now swings back. Forward fold, right forward, left back. Maybe start to get a little more fluid with the movement. Kind of swinging, reaching. See where this feels good in your body. Two more. And one, sweep it around and fold. All right, bring it into facing me, stepping onto the feet, Malasana Yogi Squat, pry the knees apart, drive up to stand. I'm gonna take some side lunges here, lateral lunge. Again, just warming up hips, hamstrings, inner thighs, groin, sink into one direction, side lunge, come back up. Other direction, deep side lunge. Challenge your edge, see how deep you can go and try to get a little lower each time. Draw up, don't try to keep that heel down, but if it wants to pop up a little bit, that's okay. Other foot can flex, <sighs> draw it up, draw it down. If you are able, we're gonna come to seated. Internally rotate the knees to meet, open, step on the foot. Externally rotate the knees wide step on the foot. You might pick up the foot and have to adjust it. You might even grab it with the hands. Other way, <sighs> center, side lateral lunge. Try to come to seated even if you need your hands. Internally rotate, externally rotate. Step on that foot, lift. The more you pull the shoulders forward, the lighter your hips will be to lift off. Side lunge, one more add-on. Internally rotate. Externally rotate, that hand by the forward, that front knee is gonna press down, roll onto your shin, stretch the hips and heart forward and up. Come back, step on the foot, lift back up. Other way, side lunge, internally rotate, externally rotate, bring the hand down, press onto the shin. Pull that arm up back over the shoulder, have a seat. Step on the foot, come up. Last warm up exercise, come on down to prone belly down position. I'm gonna take a little shoulder stretch to a crab reach. Left hand out, right hand like you're pressing into the side of your mat, chaturanga. We're gonna peel the right hip up and over. 
Feel that shoulder stretch, hip flexor and quad. Good. Come up, lift the head, bring the left hand in, push away, and then lift up to crab reach. Hips up, arm framing head. Come back through, straighten left leg, right scorpion, unwind here. Now, right hand out, left hand to chaturanga, lift the knee, peel it open, take a moment here to stretch and enjoy it. Then you'll lift the head, slide that hand in so we can shift into crab reach, hips up, reach over the head. Two more like that. Right leg long, left knee whips back. Left hand out, peel the right knee out. Press onto the left hand, left foot in, crab reach. Hips up, knees down, have a seat. Left leg long, right knee up and around. Last one, right hand out, left knee peels open. Come to the place where you can bring your right hand in and flip over for your crab reach. Challenge that edge, big hips, strong shoulder pressing down. Grip into the mat with the fingertips. Have a seat, extend right leg, left leg comes back. Find sphinx, elbows under forearms. Pry the mat forward, or backwards, pry the heart forward. And we'll tuck the toes and take a little plank. Four, sphinx, three, waking up that core. Shoulder strength, protract, two, retract, and one. Dolphin, tiptoe in. Find some more flexibility in the calves and hamstrings, strength from the shoulders. Press down, can you pop up to down dog? Walk it in. Hanging forward fold, shake, shimmy, circle out the wrist. Maybe take the back of the hands down. Nod, yes and no. Swivel, whatever feels good here. And we are ready to work. Ragdoll yourself up, starting with our combinations. Again, you might take a moment to continue to stretch out anything that's feeling tight, maybe hips and shoulder circles. <sighs> All right, my timer's gonna go on. You'll hear a 10 second countdown, and then one minute per drill. First drill, super easy, still a warm up drill. We're just doing bird dog, opposite arm and leg lifts. So easy enough, let's get started. Here is your 10 second countdown. Spread your fingers under your shoulders, knees under hips, neutral spine, pull the belly in, right leg back, left arm out, switch, left leg, right arm. We'll add on to that, right leg, left arm, Add a knee tuck and extend. Set it down, left leg, right arm. Add a nice tight compression tuck. See if you can get your thigh to your belly and extend. Right leg, left arm, tuck tight. And from here, abduct, swing the arm and leg in opposition and then come back. Other side, left leg, right arm. Tight tuck, side leg and arm, come back, and bring it down, right donkey kick, left arm by ear, left donkey kick, right arm by ear, beautiful. That was drill one. Drill two, we're going to take crab toe taps to under switch back where we came from, but it's, it'll be a hovering table. Bring your wrists backwards, lift the hips. Here we go, right, left, under switch, right leg under the body. Find your ta hovering table or your beast. Bring it back, left, right, left knee flips under the body, hovering table. Come back, toe tap right, Left, right knee flips under. Find your little hover beast here, knees under hips, hovering table. Left, 
right, flip under. Come back. A little quicker, right, left, under switch, beast. Come back. Left, right, left knee under. Hold. Come back. Switch. You can work your own pace. These are timed. And there's your minute. Counter stretch on those wrists. We are on the hands quite a bit today. We're doing a plank walk, lizard push up, dolphin crawl back. Let's just start with the plank walk. Here we go. Plank walk out and then walk in. Then we'll add our lizard push ups. Roll down, plank walk. Lizard, step right foot and hand, dip to the ground. Step left foot and hand forward, push up, come back, crawl back. Next time we'll add dolphin. Up, down, plank walk. Lizard push up, right foot, right hand, left foot, left hand. Dolphin, forearms, plank, then walk back. We got it? Second set will go a little quicker, if possible. Walk out, plank, lizard, push up and lunge. Left, dolphin, forearms land, tailbone up, plank, push the shoulders down, squeeze the belly, walk in, ragdoll up, down, and that's your break. All right, we have a Right, right. Next one, a, an animal style cartwheel, traveling eight. We're gonna take it across the mat, keeping the hands and legs parallel. Then you're, you'll do three like side to side mini lunges and go across coming back. 10 seconds to get there. And here we go, travel, take it to the inside, to the outside, to the inside, so you set up to go again. All right, so we go in, out, in, cartwheel. A little different than a regular cartwheel. We take the inside, outside hand, and the inside foot, all right? You'll practice that and you'll get it. It's almost like a little shuffle across the mat with your hands and then your feet. Side, side, cartwheel. That can be more of a handstand or it can be really just low. Low and primal or we try to get the hips up. 10 seconds to go, you got this. Heart rate's climbing. In, out, in. In, out, break. All right, that was your first round of exercises. Now we know what to expect. Let's push a little bit harder, maybe a little bit faster. Take a moment, walk around the room, drink some water. Heart rate should be high after that last one. All right, let's do it. We're gonna push a little harder, maybe a little faster. You don't have to stay at my pace. Uh, we start with the bird dog on hands and knees. 10 seconds to get there. Come down to your hands and knees. Spread the fingers, index finger forward, crease of the elbow, wrapping forward, knees under hips, go. Right leg, left arm. Left leg, right arm. Here's what we're at. Right leg, left arm, knee to chest. Extend, feel the abs. Left leg, right arm. Knee to chest, extend. Let's add that abduction. Right leg, left arm, tuck, abduct. Left leg, right arm, tuck, abduct to the sides. Come back. Right leg, left arm, we tuck, we abduct, and we add donkey kick, up, down. Left leg, right arm, tuck, abduct, donkey kick, up, and down. All right, next one, crab tap, under switch into hovering table or static beast. 
You can add some kickbacks on the static piece this time. Set your hands up backwards, lift your hips, go. Right, left, right knee under, then kick back left, right on hovering knees, come back. Left, right, left knee under, kick back right, left, come back where you started. Right, left, under switch, kick back left, right knee is nice and low, back crab, toe tap, left knee under, kick back, right left, come back, toe taps, under switch, kick, toe taps, under switch, kick back, Come back, crab, relax. Quick counter stretch. We go to the plank walk. So take a moment, relax the wrists, shake them out. We have our walk to our lizard push ups. Here we go. Curl it out, plank. Lizard right, lizard left. No as if possible. Forearms, plank, crawl back. Ragdoll up, down. Plank walk. Lizard, right foot, right hand. Crouch, nose to mat. Keep a neutral neck and spine. Forearms land. Hands land, maybe add a push up there. Walk back. Ragdoll up. Shake out those wrists. Go again. Ragdoll plank. Lizard push up. Lizard. Dolphin, plank to push up, walk back, Woo. ragdoll up, and down, walk it out, and now break, thought we were on our break. All right, so we have our traveling ape, lateral, quick little lunge, side to side, go into the middle, out, in, travel again. Here we go in three, two, one, lateral, little bob and weave kind of action, side to side legs. Traveling ape, crouch down, side to side, lateral lunge. Move, let it flow. So when you come to the inside lunge, you could be ready to go into the cartwheel. In, out, in, travel. In, out, you're halfway there. Pace yourself, but keep pushing yourself. So if that means you can go faster, go for it. If you want to try to focus on maybe catching some hang time, nice strong shoulders. Side, side, side. Travel. Side, side, side. Woo! And you did it. That was round one of two, four more exercises, and we'll repeat them and call it a day. Take your time to get some water and walk around the room. You can always hit pause if you need a longer break. All right, let's quickly review the first drill. It's a little complex. So we're gonna take a crab reach, lift your hips, crab reach, into a scorpion reach and down dog. So from here, I'm gonna under switch, pull that outside leg up and over. Come back, crab reach, pull that leg under and then over. Your option eventually be, will be to flip and come back and then we'll start to alternate sides. So let's do the first round halfway, just crab reach, scorpion, down dog. All right, let's get started. 10 seconds to get you there. Meet me in crab. Again, fingertips back since we're gonna flip. Push the shoulders down. Crab reach towards me. Now take that in, the outside leg you're looking at, sweep it up and over. Chest towards toes. Sweep it under. Crab reach, hips up. 
take that foot you're looking at, take it up and over. Challenge that hip up towards the sky, heel towards butt. Under, crab reach, look at the foot, pull it up and over. All right, let's switch sides. Other way, crab reach. That leg that is by your gaze flips up and over. Under crab reach. Take that foot over scorpion and down dog, heel to butt, knee to sky. Under crab reach, hips up, chest up, up and over. All right, perfect timing. Next time we'll add that little flip over. All right, drill two, loaded beast, lizard lunge, and we're gonna do a little step in and stretch. Here we go, set up your down dog, bend the knees, bring those hips back. This is your loaded beast. Right arm, right foot, steps. Drag it in, and then side stretch, side to side. So we're in a little crouching position, bring it back. Load, left leg, left arm up, drag it in, inside, outside. Bring your hands down, jump back. Lizard, crouch, stretch in, stretch out, hands down, jump back. Load, lizard, crouch. Stretch in, stretch out, let's add a kick through. Load, lizard, in, stretch, kick through, come back, load, lizard, hug the heel in, stretch inside, kick through, pull the foot out, come back, load your beast, lizard, all right, next one's a little complex, I'm going to pause this, and we're going to practice, then we won't take the breaks on the next round. So you have what's called a crocodile roll. We're going to start with a kick through, come into a hovering table or a static beast, push the shoulders down, hover the knees. Kick through. You've done this, I'm sure, a million times. Now that extended leg sweeps forward, close the gap like you're going to go into a side plank, roll. Step on that foot that's bent, switch. Go towards the straight leg. And we'll just come back in to repeat that on the other side. All right, so if you want to take a moment to practice those little um, crocodile roll, extend this one leg out, roll onto it, step, switch. Extend the inside leg out, go towards it, land on the bent knee, switch. Roll, switch. Roll, switch. We got that? All right, let's do it with the flow. I know those hands are getting tired. Take time to counter stretch, take breaks. You will build strength. The more you engage the body, the less you're heavy on the hands too. Keep that in mind. Here we go. Starting in your static beast. Spread into your fingertips, grip down. That will help your wrist too. Here's three, two, one. Kick through, close the gap. Crocodile roll. Switch, come back, reset. Kick through, close the gap. Scorpion, or crocodile, switch, come back. Beast, kick through, close the gap. Spin, switch, spin back. Kick through, close, crocodile, switch, come back. We're halfway through, if you wanna take a pause, and take a little counter stretch you can or just keep working. Kick through, close the gap, roll, switch, back. Kick through, close the gap, roll, land, jump, switch, come back. Again, maybe you take a moment or you're just working and you have the flow. Three, two, one. Next one, final one, Turkish get up, bridge to a standing front forward kick. Let's come to the bottom of the get up. We'll start at the bottom. Lay on your back, right knee bent. Go, left leg bridge up, roll up the spine, press onto your left hand. 
elevate the hip, draw back, lunge, front kick, lunge, left hand down, and then we'll reset. Left knee in, lay, right leg bridge up. Press onto your right forearm and then hand. Elevate the hip, lunge, front kick, lunge, right hand down, slide that foot through, abdominal back. Switch, bridge, ab roll, slide that foot back, and elevate the hip, lunge, try not to put the back knee down if possible. So it's like a hovering Turkish get up. Come on down, right leg up, bridge, sit up, lunge, step back, kick up. And we did it. So that one was a little more complex. We took some longer breaks and practiced. This time, try to get through that minute with no stopping. Do the best you can if you revisit this class, if you got a little bit lost. I bet you you'll get it on the second or third try. And have fun with it. It's fun to use your brain too. So it's a mind-body connection. All right, take a moment, drink water, stretch out, and we'll finish this up. All right, remember that combo one, crab reach to scorpion flip. This time we're gonna flip and land, and then whip under, go to the other side. So we're gonna alternate. It'll be a scorpion flip instead of a scorpion down dog hold. 10 seconds to get yourself into crab. Elevate the hips, push the shoulders down. Here we go. My left arm's gonna go over crab reach. That foot I'm looking at spins up. Scorpion, now I'm gonna flip and land and come all the way back where I came from. Crab reach, take that foot you're looking at, slip it up and over. Scorpion, flip land, flip back, turn under. You might sit and readjust your hands, that's okay. Crab reach, flip over, pause, and then try to land softly all the way over. Left hand down, right arm up. Left foot up and over, scorpion. Look at those toes. Land, flip, full circle, have a seat, counter stretch. Let's go. Crab reach. Scorpion. Let's come back. Other side. Crab reach. Scorpion. And release. That's all we had time for. Let's go into our lizard lunge. Side stretch. Kick through. Down dog hips back. Load your beast. Here we go. Lizard. Step forward. Crouch in. Side stretch. Kick through. Load your beast. Left lizard, crouch. Get off the hand if you want, come onto fingertips. Kick through, come back, load. Lizard, step in, pause a moment, crunch it over, then kick it through and come back. Load lizard, take a moment to crouch down. Side bend, kick through, slide the foot out, stay low, and back. Let's try to get two more in. Lizard, crouch, stretch, release the foot through and back. Lizard, crouch, stretch, kick, and break. Whew. Two more to go. How are we doing? I know the wrists are feeling it. Take a moment. All right, we have our kick through to crocodile roll. Static beast, go. Kick through, close the gap, roll, switch, come back. Reset, kick through, close the gap, step on that foot, circle, switch, reset. You could take a break in between each round. You just need to get off the hands or go for it. Kick through, walk, roll, switch, come back. Kick, close that gap, step like your side plank, rolling. Switch, take 
a moment in between if you need it. We have maybe time for one more set. Kick, roll, try and make it nice and fluid. Kick, roll, switch. Whew. I'm gonna not use the rest of my time and take a stretch. All right, we're finishing up with the Turkish get up. We have 15 seconds from here. This one's not so bad on the hands. Let's start with your right knee bent. Come onto your back. Three, two, one. Left leg up, bridge. Bridge, press onto the left forearm, ab roll. You can do fingertips here. Crouching lunge, forward kick. Crouching lunge, step through, roll back and switch legs. Left knee bend, right leg up, hips up. Hips down, right forearm to hand your fingertip. Elevate the hips, crouch your lunge, front kick. Lunge, come back. You can try to do this one off the hands as much as possible to give those hands a rest. Lunge to front kick. So mostly using legs. Bridge, roll even here. You could just slip that foot back very lightly on the hands doing a pistol squat. Bridge, up, thread. We did it. Let's come into yogi squat, sitting on the back of our hands, compressing through the forearms, releasing tension in the wrists. Massage different areas into the wrists and up the forearms. Woo. Beautiful job. Let's have a seat. Put your thumbs into your hip flexors. They also worked really hard. Give the hip flexors a massage as you lean forward. Bend the knees if you need to. And then just hang out in the forward fold. Maybe pancake forward fold. No force. Just try to open the body. Find some ease. Remember, you can stretch as long as you'd like. You can repeat any sections, but again, be mindful. We were on the hands a whole lot for that class. <sighs> Build your strength from your core, your upper body, and your legs, and we won't be so heavy in the wrists. I promise it'll get easier. Keep playing, keep having fun. Let me know how it went. And YouTubers, don't forget, I have my own app for $1 for your first month to try out many more classes. I take requests and I release about three a week there. So give it a try and I will see you on my app.